to the financial fallout shelter with the national debt now more than $10 trillion. The White House today enacted an emergency plan to eliminate all of the United States financial obligations to foreign nations by faking a violent coup of the American government. The coup is expected to take much of the strain off of America's real economy, providing the global community does not discover the ruse. The fake coup began at 10 a.m. today when fake rebel leader Octavius Del Monte stormed Congress and pretended to kill several congressmen. Hear my words, China, Japan, and the United Arab Emirates. The United States of America and all its vast debt no longer exists. Henceforth, this land will be called Octavia. Do not even try to collect funds owed. <laughs> the militants brandished plastic guns and wore costumes. Lawmakers stayed up late last night making themselves. I believe we have the wrong answer. Oh! Oh! Now, what is the meaning of this? Be quiet, woman! After a five-minute mock battle, Congress and the President ceded control of the nation to Octavius, who is believed to be played by Deputy Secretary of Agriculture Charles Connor. You know how when someone dies and all their debts go away and no one has to pay them? Well, this is like that, except with countries. The country's creditors will be told the paper containing the country's debts was destroyed in the scuffle. Someone save the record of our debts. Congress will also use computer graphics to simulate some of the fake coup's more complicated details, such as the explosion that blows up the Treasury building. Representatives on both sides of the aisle said the plan was the best option left for lowering our debt after ideas like burning down the country for the insurance money and disguising the nation as Canada were deemed infeasible. The White White House is also asking all American citizens to call their friends in other countries to complain about the new dictatorship. And in accordance with pretending to comply with Octavius's media control policy, this network will now be broadcasting Octavia's national anthem for three hours every day. Thank you for watching, and God bless Octavia.